what is instantaneous speed and what is instantaneous velocity let if a car is standing at a point a let if a car is moving to the point b and from point b let the car is moving to the point c let initially the car was standing at point a and its speed was 0 meter per second and when the car was crossing the point b we noted down that the speed of the car was 7 meter per second and when the car was crossing the point c its speed was 12 meter per second now what is 0 meter per second 7 meter per second and 12 meter per second now these 0 meter per second 7 meter per second 12 meter per second is the instantaneous speed of a, a car now how i will define the instantaneous speed of a car speed of an object a speed of a car at a particular instant now if i include the direction 0 meter per second towards right and if i again write 0 7 meter per second toward right and 12 meter per second toward right now this is speed is shifting from speed is shifting to the velocity so i say this is the instantaneous velocity because we know speed and a specific direction gives us velocity now to tell you the difference between average speed and instantaneous speed let if a person is standing at a point x and he is moving to the point y and the person is covering 14 meter distance and time to second and beyond from point y the person is moving to the point z and the distance he is covering is 16 meter and the time for second now how i will define the average speed average speed is defined as the total distance divided by total time now i know that total distance is 14 meter plus 16 meter divided by total time and that is 2 plus 4 second and i'm getting 30 meter divided by 6 second now i am getting 5 meter per second now 5 meter per second is the average speed of the person now keep it in your mind average speed is always different from instantaneous speed and here instantaneous speed may be something different and average speed is 5 meter per second now how you are calculating the instantaneous speed let if a car is standing at a point a and if the car is moving to the point b and then the car is moving to the point c now instantaneous speed is defined that shorter distance divided by shorter time now or we can also say instantaneous speed is defined change very small change and a distance divided by very small change and a time now to take a very small change in a distance and to take a very small change in a time we approach is to zero so i say zero divided by zero now it goes to infinity so it was a problem for and test and it was a problem of centuries it was a problem from centuries and it it has no solution later it was newton who solved this problem and he introduced calculus so now by differentiation method we can find the instantaneous speed or any instantaneous rate of change of two values now the formula of instantaneous speed is if you do not know about calculus then i am going to tell you about the formula of instantaneous speed is equal to limit approaches time approaches to zero the time approaches zero means is that z time is not zero but it is living in the neighborhood of a zero so i say now change in distance divided by change in time this is the formula to find the instantaneous speed of an object of an aeroplane of a car of any object now how we find the instantaneous speed if the body if the car is moving in a uniform motion now let again consider if a car is moving from point x to y and from y to z let the speed of the car 
from x to y and from y to z is 7 meter per second now we know here that the motion is uniform the instantaneous speed is 7 meter per second so keep it in your mind when instantaneous speed is not changing then average speed becomes equal to instantaneous speed so in uniform motion the average speed is actually giving you the instantaneous speed now how we find the instantaneous speed in non-uniform motion to find the instantaneous speed in non-uniform motion we draw a graph let i am taking distance along y axis and time along x axis and this is the graph for the motion of a body now keep it in your mind slope of this graph will give me the instantaneous speed of the body so y2 minus